Today we are going on the adventure to the hot spring town of Sing Beito, which he has been wanting to go because he's an old man who likes hot springs. Hot springs. <laughs> we took a train from the Taipei main station to Beito and then changed to a super cool hot spring themed train to Sing Beito. And we were so pleasantly surprised when we arrived at the town because it's this like small, idyllic, quiet town that is so nice with so many old people. And there were a lot of like nice architects on our way there, so we visited this like beautiful library. They say it's the most beautiful library of Taiwan. And this cool stream and people <laughs> performing along the way. Plus we decided to go to the Thermal Valley. Yeah, so first we are visiting the hot spring valley and along the way there's actually like a lot of like hot spring looking things. I don't really know whether it's the actual hot spring but yeah, this is the hot spring valley and outside there's this like nice hand washing place with a temperature of 44 degrees and I think it's really nice and this is like the story of it which apparently is saying how the water flows from the top of the mountain to the bottom. <laughs> And it's really pretty with the steam coming up from the water and it's nice it's a very nice place to take photos and chill here. I really like the steam actually and it's just amazing to see how hot spring works, I guess. <laughs> we spend quite some time here taking photos. I think the sunlight was really nice. There's also people picnicking in the seats a little bit below the Thermal Valley. So I think it's just a nice place to hang out. If you're coming over here, please remember to not come on Monday because it's not open on Monday, so you'll make a wasted trip if you do come. And on our way out, we saw a public hot spring, but we're heading to a private one. Yeah, this is a public hot spring which like I saw online actually, but we decided not to come here because I thought it would be too crowded. So we are heading to a private hospital. And along the way, we saw this pavilion thing and decided to check it out. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was really excited because it reminded me a lot of like my days in China where that where it's like autumn. So pretty. Who really has autumn bikes? I know what autumn looks like. Yes. <laughs> it's really nice and I saw this slide which looks super cool and then when we went over, there's this grandpa taking his grandson for a ride and it looks super fun. Oh, I was expecting like a very fast one. Yeah, we thought it would be fast. Yeah. Oh my god, it's fast! 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Okay, going on so slowly. Fun flight, but you. I really like Beto. Eh? It's like a small, quiet town where people just come here to chill and to do hot spring. Do you think so? Very nice. I think the scenery is amazing. It's a very slow pace of life. Oh. If you know your usual life is very hustle and bustle, come here to just slow down, look at the sights, feel the water. <laughs> and go to hot springs. I think it's very nice to relax here. Mm. She likes everything here except for the ramen. Yeah, eh, the ramen is damn bad. Eh. Oh my god. Back to our lunch! So we wanted to eat lunch here, but actually we arrived too late, so it was the afternoon already, and all the like better ramen places were closed, so we had to settle for like a not too bad one on Google or so. So you can skip this part if you don't want to hear the gossip. I feel like a reporter. <laughs> this has been on the news for a while in Taiwan. It's called the Ramen War. So this place used to be a very famous ramen. The old owner sued the new owners. They lost the case. Then now they put banners at their old storefront saying that they got copied and they moved. So this new store is fake. And then the new store, right, they, they use the same first word. So on the banner there, they only use the first word. So a lot of like tourists and like people thought that it is the old store, but actually it's the new store. So anyway, we're gonna try the new store and see whether it's really good. The food is not nice. I think it's Edible. It's just not super, super special. Like they were supposedly famous for like the food hot spring, for hot spring, <laughs> like the food wash upstairs, but it's not open and there's no other like specialty about this store. It's just meh. So I couldn't wash my feet.
And now we are going to the hot spring. And now we are going to the hot spring resort. Come to Beto Hot Spring Resort. It looks super nice, so grand. It's Let's one three eight zero for okay. two for an uh, individual room. Let's go. So we got this. We're going to the fifth floor right now. Fifth floor. So I saw this one online, and then they, a lot of places recommended it, and it's, I think it has one of the nicest double room that I saw, and it has a hot pool and a cold pool. So we're gonna check it out. Wow. Oh, but the bad thing is that the toilet is. Outside. This is our room here. Oh! Wow! We have one, two, and a shower here. Right? And we have towel, so it's quite nice. So you can turn on your hot and cold water individually and control it. And there's the instructions here, so don't run inside because it's dangerous. For the hot pool, there's a hot tap and a cold tap, so you can choose what temperature you want the water to be. And for the cold pool, there is the cold tap, so you can turn on the cold water. <laughs> Wait, I think the special thing about this hot spring, and one of the reasons why we chose this one instead of the others, is that they have the hot pool and the cold pool, which um, is quite good because it allows you to... Um, I don't know what is it called, <laughs> but it basically contracts and expands your blood vessels and your muscles to squeeze out all the lactic acid. So if you have been, you know, like shopping a lot, walking a lot around, right? Um, doing the hot cold thing really helps your whole body to relax so much. That really brings the hot spring experience to like the next level. He loves it. He's an old man. He likes hot springs. Next P. <laughs> Remember to drink water after you go into a hot spring bath because you need to replenish the water loss. Now anyway, this set comes with like a dessert and a drink afterwards which I think is a super nice ending to our experience here. So we went just downstairs actually and it's a really nice cafe. Okay, so we have a very enjoyable hot spring and now there's a complimentary dessert. Wow! <laughs> so this is the dessert which is like one cream puff and one like a biscuit thing. Yeah, give this and you can choose green coffee, orange juice. Green tea or red tea? Yeah. I like it. I think. I like it too. So nice and then to the hot spring. So the hot spring, the body is like really hot, right? So you can eat something, you drink something cold, it's really nice and comforting. So it was very satisfying and I think we spent like 90 minutes in the hot spring bath and then we came down to eat. So by the time we are done, it's really dark outside and we cancelled our itinerary afterwards. <laughs> so um, this video took very long after our second video but we hope that you'll continue to follow us and subscribe for more because we'll be still posting about our Taiwan trip hopefully faster this time. So see you next time for our other adventures. Bye! Bye.